what was dating like? This is something that always trips people up because where I'm from, the sports and true Amish, dating is completely different than old order or new order Amish. When I tell people in the old order or new order Amish how we dated, they literally go like this. You did what? So prepare yourself. I'm going to explain to you what it would look like if I were to go on a date in the sports and trooper homage. Let's say it's Saturday night before a Sunday that is not church Sunday because we only had church every two weeks. So the Sunday, Sunday in between was the visiting Sunday or the resting Sunday. So let's say it's this Saturday night. I'm in my dating age. We started dating at around 16 and a half, not 16, 16 and a half. I go to bed usual. But what could happen is around midnight or so, clip, clap, clip, clap, here comes a horse and buggy. And it could be three to four guys that are in the, the, in the dating age that are coming to my house and one of them wants to go on a date with me. This guy never comes by himself. It's always with a group of other guys. Now, what he doesn't do, the guy that wants to actually go on the date with me, what he does not do is he does not come and ask me for the date himself. So I could be sleeping in my bed, and here they come up to my room, and the let's say there's four. Three of them come upstairs to my room, not the guy that wants to go on a date with me, just the other three, and they ask me, do you want to go on a date with this guy? I can say yes, or I can say no. But we're going to go with this time I said yes. If I do say no, they're going to try to convince me and say, to tell me, like, go on a date with this guy. But I'm going to say yes for the sake of this video. I only did it a few times. Then they go back outside, they get the guy that wants to go on a date with me, and they tell him, Lizzie wants to go on a date with you. So then they all come inside, they go upstairs. This is during the night. They're only allowed to date at nighttime. They cannot be seen in public. They come upstairs, they all hang out in my room for an hour hour and a half, maybe they'll go down to the pantry, get some food to eat, could be pie, cookies, whatever. They hang out for a bit, and then the three guys that are not there to go on a date with me, they end up leaving. The guy that stays there for the date, that is there for the date, he stays. So now it's just him and I in the room. What do we do after that? Well, there's not supposed to be any kind of uh, sex before marriage, nothing like that. Strictly prohibited. When my twin and I were in the age of starting to date, the only thing my mom told us was keep your clothes on. There was no other conversations about what would actually happen, how does sex even go, what happens if, if you have sex, like you could get pregnant. There was none of that. It was just, this is a bad thing. Don't do it. That's all we knew, basically. We knew some other things, but that's about it. So then you go to bed. What do you think is supposed to happen? Well, they're supposed to do what's called bundling. Bundling is, <laughs> is where at some point while you're laying in bed visiting, if it's, if it's a good conversation, you're going to just talk about things. If it's boring, you might go to sleep. But at some point, the guy takes the lead and he's supposed to like wrap his arms around you and hug you. And then like bundling is like rolling around. So then you like roll around, however long you want to do that. And then he may kiss you on the cheek or if he really likes you, he might kiss you on the lips. And then they go back to talking. And like I said, if it's really boring, they'll just go to sleep. 
come 3, 4 a.m., he gets up and he leaves and he goes home. Now, if he really likes a girl, he may go, hey, can I come back in two weeks? If he doesn't and he's like, I don't want to see her again, he's not going to ask her. But if he comes back and they have three dates, which has to happen every two weeks, you're not allowed to see each other for more than every two weeks. If you get caught seeing each other for more than every two weeks, you get in trouble. After three dates, he may ask her if she wants to be his girlfriend. And then they are considered a couple. So there's no uh, re prearranged marriages or anything like that. No, nobody else chooses your partner. You still get to choose your partner. There's not very many options. But um, there's no, there's no prearranged marriages. So then you are allowed to see each other as a, as a couple that's considered going steady. Um, you are allowed to see each other every two weeks. Now, I had a boyfriend from New York. I lived in Ohio. I met my boyfriend when one of my brothers got married to a girl from New York. So we went up there for the wedding and I met this guy and then we started dating. Now, that was long distance. So we couldn't see each other. There was no no cell phones. There was no phone calls, nothing. So we had to write letters. We wrote letters to each other. And so every two weeks, I wrote a letter to him. And every two weeks, he wrote a letter to me. Not a lot of pen pills. And we saw each other maybe twice a year. He's the guy that I ended up like running away with. And then we broke up. And I don't know what he's doing now. But that's dating. And then eventually, if you continue, if you are in a relationship, you're not allowed to see each other in public. So, like, you wouldn't be allowed to, like, go to church together, ride in a buggy together when it's daylight. You could only be seen or only be together at nighttime. And then if you want to get married, then one day he may ask her to get married. And then they get married. But get this, by the time that they get actually get engaged, like officially get engaged, they'll be planning it, but officially get engaged until they get married, it's about a week and a half to two weeks. That is dating in a nutshell from the Sports and Trooper Amish. There you go.